Living lovely. One thing I want you guys to remember is that supplements are really just that. They're just supplements to your diet. So don't think that you need any of these things. So aminos, there's a lot more info coming out and a lot more research coming out that you actually don't need added BCAs into your diet besides the actual BCAs that you're getting from protein that you're eating within your diet. So if you're getting adequate amount of protein within the foods that you're eating, there's a lot more research saying that these do not actually help you. But I personally enjoy taking PES Sciences, a BCA brand, um, because they actually add potassium, sodium, and um, calcium, so electrolytes. So like what's in Gatorade that keeps you hydrated, helps keep you hydrated, that is also in their BCA, which is why I also enjoy their product. And it's almost like more of an insurance for me because I can't afford it, so I do take it. But just like pre-workout, you do not need pre-workout to make progress in the gym. It's just kind of like a, a luxury or um, sort of like a treat, if you will. It helps your progress but it's not necessarily needed. So um, same with those sort of things. The three things that I would recommend you take if you have um, money to afford anything in general would be um, a fish oil for the omega-3, um, which is gonna help with a ton of things, and just a multivitamin because it's nearly impossible to get the proper vitamins and minerals from our food alone in today's day and age. And then just a probiotic, which is gonna be something that's gonna help you with your digestive system. And there's actually research showing that helps with um, other things as well because our gut has a lot of affiliation with a lot of other things and a lot of other functions within our body. So um, won't hurt to take those and they definitely will help. So if you can afford them, um, take them. But like I said, those are the three that I would recommend above all else. And um, from there, you can kind of go based on what you need in your diet and what you also um, can afford. So like I said, food, eating, your diet is actually the number one thing you should always focus on. Spend that money on whole foods and that sort of thing before you waste your money and um, buy supplements, but then don't even have food to eat to go along with those supplements. Because like I said, supplements are just that, a supplement to your diet. So I just got home a little bit ago from my early morning sessions, guys, and um, now, like I said, I'm gonna have some breakfast, but I just wanted to show you the package that I just got or the items that I just got from PE Science. So PE Science, I'm not affiliated with them and I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I do buy their BCA product as well as their Multi and their Alphamine, which is like an energy powder. And um, if you're wondering, I am affiliated with Pure Pump, which is um, a product by a company called Do Vitamins. If you're interested in Pure Pump, it's an unflavored, all-natural pre-workout. doesn't have any additives or anything like that in it. So if you're gluten-free, vegan, or that sort of thing, it's definitely friendly for you. Or if you're just someone who doesn't like the C4s and that sort of thing with a ton of artificial colors, Pure Pump is a great option. But if you're looking to get more info on that, check out DoVitamins.com and use my code ANKLUM for 15% off your order. Um, make sure you do um, include that just so you can get some money off and it does help me out as well. So like I said, I do take PE Science um, for, like I said, the BCAs and the few other things that I mentioned just because I love their products. They have great products and they also um, have stuff that doesn't have a ton of additives and that sort of thing, which is what I look for in a supplement. So the reason why I don't take um, of a multivitamin or fish oil by um, Pure Pump or do vitamins is because they actually don't have a multivitamin out right now and their fish oil is out of stock. So that's kind of why I do that. Right now I'm taking Optimum Nutrition's fish oil and I also take a probiotic. So kind of a little rundown on the supplements that I take and if you guys have more questions, just leave them below. But yeah, I'm about to eat breakfast now. So a lot of people ask me about um, mass gainers and whether they should take a mass gainer or whether they should take a 100% whey protein. And my answer always revolves around your current goals and also your body type. So for someone who's bulking, who has a really busy schedule, naturally leaner like myself, a mass gainer really helps you out because it's easy to get in and drink those calories than it is to eat for someone who has a lack of appetite. But for someone on the other side of things, if you were trying to cut weight or if you're someone who has no problem eating and you actually find yourself being hungry more often than not, then you probably don't want to drink your calories and you probably want to eat those calories within actual food. So it really just all depends, like I said, upon your goals. But for instance, this one scoop right here is 25 grams of protein, which is commonly the same amount of protein in a scoop of 100% whey protein. The difference is this has about 125 grams of carbs in this scoop 
versus the scoop of 100% whey, which only has usually about two to five grams of carbs, which is very, very different. So like I said, it all depends on your goals and kind of what, what you can afford because whole foods are definitely a lot cheaper than this, but the convenience of this definitely outweighs having to cook some food. So it really all depends. Depends on who you are, what you can afford, and um, one thing I want you to be careful of when you look for mass gainers, Serious Mass by Optimum is a good one, but um, be careful of mass gainers that have a ton of sugar in them. This one is a great one because it doesn't have a ton of sugar and it also has added vitamins and minerals that kind of help you out there as well. So, quick question that I get a lot. Did that make sense? Yes, it did, Joe. Hey, listen, if you, if you don't want to put the time in, to learn what you're consuming, whether it's a multivitamin supplement, a, a, a boost, mass gain, something, then you you don't do don't do it. Well, and that's how people get sucked in. Because they get the, oh this the fit tea or the detox yep. or the 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 wrap. Just, oh, it's gonna work yep. because people don't want to hear the fact that it is gonna take a lot longer and it's gonna be a lot harder and there's gonna be a lot more involved than yep. than they want to be involved with and that's like hard to swallow for a lot of people so so a lot of times it makes them kind of discouraged but in reality that's kind of what <laughs> they just don't want to face the music you know right. when it's like when it's like no if you just kind of put all this money and all this time into like these gimmicks that you think might work that really aren't gonna and you like did a little research to find that wow this isn't gonna work and two right. even if i if it, even if it does give me some results it's probably going to be very temporary and that this is going to be a life journey that I need to kind of change, and people aren't realizing that that's like, that's that's really what you got to understand. You know, it comes down to building those mainline habits that you can fall back on when you do go off kilter, because that's life. You're gonna go, you're gonna go off the rails. Thanksgiving happens, your birthday happens. You know, it's like, but that's where it's it's where if you're effing up going into that, that it totally throws you off even more. And then you can go the other way too. You can say, "Oh boy, you know, I've got a limited budget. I can spend to I got deep pockets. I'm gonna go buy everything." Yep. And I need I'm I'm across the board. You know, all everything. I'm talking about whatever you're doing. Like if you're cutting weed, if you're putting that muscle on, uh, just trying to stay healthy. And you go out and spend all, you can do harm to yourself that way too. Well, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like you, you can't you can't look into things more than they are. Yeah. Like supplements aren't going to be magic. They're just going to help you. Yeah. It's only going to benefit you in certain ways if you need it. So as I was mentioning, a lot of times with my schedule being that I'm busy in the morning, I don't really eat first thing in the morning before I go to my clients. Sometimes I'll grab a shake like I just showed you, but if I don't have that shake while I'm at work or before work, then I'll have that right now. So this is, like I said, about 25 grams of protein, about 125 grams of carbs, and about two and a half grams of fat. I'll put up the um, MyFitnessPal app um, right here just to show you guys the macros. So this is what I start out with my day, um, start out my day with, excuse me, and from there, then I kind of have a good start to a large amount of my calories. Since I'm moving a lot throughout the day, I have clients either in the morning or late at night or both. It gives me a lot, like I said, a lot of leeway to kind of eat a little bit less throughout the day or not as often because I'm not a big eater. I'm not, I don't have a big appetite a ton and I can go throughout the whole day without eating if I really wanted to. So with that being the case, eating something or drinking something like this to get my calories in and make sure that I'm getting proper nutrition is key. So all depends on your your situation if you can afford something like this another great way to get a large amount of calories in like this and micronutrients like this is a just a big blender put in a bunch of fruits put in some veggies if you want some kale I promise you won't taste it put in a little bit of orange juice if you want for a little bit of flavor put some ice in there put your like I said a bunch of fruit um, you can put in protein powder and mix that all you can even do oats in there if you want to add some carbs like I have or even do maltodextrin which is what the carb source in here is and basically make your own mass gainer shake. So if you don't have a lot of money, that's a great way to kind of go about things and um, kind of get the same benefits of a big shake like this without having to pay for a serious mass shake. If you, um, like I said, if you're younger, you don't have a lot of money, I totally understand that. So 
that's kind of a little tip for you guys. I'm going to chill right now. I'm going to do some work, answer some emails, and um, just get a bunch of Instagram posts. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I definitely recommend you do so. I post every single day, and I'm always trying to post informative content. So if you have anything you recommend or you'd like to see, definitely let me know. But um, like I said, I'm going to catch up with you guys in a little bit, do a little bit of work here, and I'll talk to you guys when I head to the gym for my bench session. Talk to you guys then. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. I want to be with you.